Jared Hecht. I'm the co-founder of GroupMe. I'm Steve Martosi, co-founder of GroupMe. Cool. We are GroupMe. We do free group messaging for everybody. Mm -hmm. With a whole and lot more, including conference calling, location sharing, and a bunch of more crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. And you guys just released a lot of updates to GroupMe. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, we actually just pushed out a bug fix on our Android platform uh, a minute ago from feedback we've been getting here at South by Southwest. To take, honestly, this is such a learning experience for us that we're gathering data and making improvements every time, every day. Um, but we did push out a, a 2.1, a 2.0, and a 2.1 release in the last two weeks. And a 2.11 release. Well, that was a bug fix, yeah. <laughs> uh, but basically, it brought the in-app chat experience, uh, kind of the smartphone experience, which includes location sharing. Um, push messaging, um, joinable groups, and uh, oh, no, sharing as well. Connections to Twitter and Facebook for inviting friends. So you guys have a couple competitors, um, to say the least, here at, at South by. What do you guys have? Do you think that no one else has? We really love the fact that Ruby is totally interoperable with data and SMS. Mm -hmm. So South by Southwest is a perfect uh, example of why that's important. You know, we're currently at a place where uh, this is totally oversaturated with people trying to access and get a data connection. People are tweeting, people are checking in, people are using GroupMe to chat with their friends. But yesterday we kind of hit this wall where I had a, a, a lot of a big difficulty actually getting a data connection. I wasn't able to tweet, I wasn't able to check in. Uh, and push Verizon, notification, right? and I was on Verizon, yeah. And push I gave up real early. <laughs> and push notifications weren't even working. So I dropped down to SMS right away. GroupMe actually detected that I had a bad uh, data connection. It prompted me to drop down to SMS. I did it, and the next thing I knew, I was getting all my messages over SMS. Totally seamless, totally intuitive. It was really, really cool. I, I dropped down early for battery life reasons. You know, so for me, I, I shut as much down as I can. I still get my push, uh, my SMSs, and I'm, it's like I'm chatting in the app. So it's really good to go back and forth. Mm -hmm. We learned this because we were the official mobile partner of Austin City Limits, yeah. and there was no data connection at all for anyone up there. Um, so you could, you know, use any Foursquare, you could use Twitter. Um, Ruby was the only thing that works. So we learned from experience that you need to have a platform that works for anyone, anytime, anywhere, uh, and that's kind of a very fundamental concept.